joining me today. So my husband and I are about to head out on a little vacation and it's not going to be fancy. It's at a beach and he wants me to try to just pack in a carry-on and a checked carry-on more or less. So I'm not sure I can do it, but I'm going to give it a try and I'm going to take you along with me. But first, I think Archie wants to say hello. He's complaining about something. So, here he is. And he's been a little whiny, I think because he knows what's up and he does not like to get left behind. But he'll have fun. He has a little friend where he goes. I am going to do my best to try to condense what I'm taking with me. <laughs> so sorry. And pack probably the lightest I've ever packed. I know I did a blog post on a trip to Italy where I did just carry a backpack and a carry-on because we had been told the cars aren't big enough for big luggage, pack light. And I ended up taking more stuff than I needed even on that trip and I didn't have that much with me. So we will see. <laughs> we'll see if I can make it, but let's get started and see how it goes. First, I want to show you a few things that I have laid out. So I always travel with a little bag for makeup. Uh, sometimes I'll take this one, which is a bigger bag, the black one. And then I love to pack with these packet system um, little bags that I've had for years. And they just are convenient and easy and kind of keep things together. Especially TSA seems to open my bags a, a great deal. And I just feel like I'm not going to have socks that <laughs> get mislaid or underwear hanging out here and there in the airport. <laughs> So I love to use those things. Of course, I'll be taking my camera. I pulled out a couple of swimsuits. I tried to shop for new swimsuits and I couldn't find any that didn't, well, let's say that did cover your bum. So I had a couple that would work. They're a few years old, but I really haven't ever worn them. So, um, Kind of a blue and black, a little blue, uh, or sorry, a little black skirt, and then just a little black tan and orange paisley. So that should work, of course. Gown, underwear. I always carry a little bag with Q-tips, nail file, cotton balls, band-aids, uh, safety pins, that sort of thing. So this goes on every trip, just a little bag that a friend of mine gave me that has our sorority emblems on it. And then over here, I try to keep a face mask in every piece of luggage that I have just in case I need it. And then this is a Grove Collaborative uh, face cloth. It's really good for removing makeup and has makeup stains on it apparently. But I'd like to take one when I travel as well, just because you can wash it out at night with hot water after you remove your makeup, let it dry on the side of the sink or tub overnight, and then use it again the next night. So even in the morning, I will use it just to um, wash my face, you know, first thing. <laughs> Look who, who wants to be there too. But anyway, um, so I'll be taking that with me as well. And then over here, I have some new luggage <laughs> and I have Archie. Oh my goodness. So maybe this will work. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> here's Archie. Wanting to play. Bless his heart. He's had a long, long day by himself. Oh, man. And unfortunately, you're getting the tail, tail end. I'm so sorry. Okay. Archie, stop. You're cute. Your face is cute. Your bum isn't so cute. 
No, 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 no. Archie, <laughs> you're going to knock the camera over. Okay, well. <laughs> Archie, stop it. <laughs> oh, he's so pretty. I like the calm Archie, but <laughs> we have the excited Archie. Archie. Let me just, real quick, please. It won't take long if you'll. <laughs> okay, sit still for five minutes. Five? I just want to show my luggage. No, please. Okay, so <laughs> I got some new luggage. Um, I've been in the market for some. So my old luggage for my carry-on, which was this size, it was hot pink, so you know, kind of stood out, <laughs> which was the point. But then the size that was a bit larger, it looked like Wonder Bread. It was big circles and bright colors, including pink and blue and green and yellow. And it um, stood out as well and kind of embarrassed my husband, but they were worn out. They'd been on lots of trips and um, the TSA locks had broken. So I ended up getting some new luggage and I had kind of convinced myself I wanted to get the Away brand. But then I saw a review on Bays. I'm assuming is how it's pronounced. It's B-E-I-S. And... Uh, I ended up getting three pieces, and it, oh, Archie, sorry, babe. Uh, this is like the overnighter sort of thing. I got the smaller size just because the larger size was too big to sit on here. I felt like it was going to hang off so much that it just didn't look good, and, and it was awfully big bag, so I feel like this is going to be big enough for me. It's one of those that has a shoe compartment in the very bottom, and I may actually put my purse in there so that I only have to deal with one item while I'm going through the airport. And I do always keep in this, like, smaller, you know, personal item, I always keep, um, zip ties just in case locks break, and I also usually take with me battery backup, plugs, something to read, my purse, a sweater, and then usually just like maybe a gown and a face cloth just in case what you check gets lost. So this is going to be plenty big. It has pretty good long straps that will fit over my shoulder. But then it has a longer strap that can be made, a crossbody strap. And I think this is, it's, you know, the fake leather and a canvas. But I think it was maybe $88, so not so bad. And then this is the carry-on size. And what I like about it that I had in my hot pink that I just couldn't bear it apart with all these years is it is expandable and uh, I always pack well going but coming back is when I usually get into trouble so since we're flying it's not an option you know to make it too well I'll be checking it so it'll be fine but usually if we're car traveling I use the expandable a lot now the things that are different on this piece of luggage rather than other pieces of luggage or in addition to other pieces is on the handle it does have a cushion under here so that it's softer on your hand which I've never had a problem with the handle hurting my hand so I don't really see a need for that, but maybe for somebody that is a need, that seems like, of course, something that will wear out over time. But we will see. I shouldn't prejudge. It also has a little weight indicator here so that if you're overweight, if, you're, <laughs> if, you're, <laughs> if your luggage is overweight, um, a light will apparently show to say that your luggage is overweight. And then it has... One thing that my pink piece of luggage didn't have was a side handle because it was smaller. And this one, thankfully, has a 
top handle as well as the side handle. So I'm excited about that. It does have the um, independent wheels so you can push it or pull it. And double zippers, TSA lock. And I think that is everything to tell you. And I love sparkles. And so I was really excited. I decided to go with the navy so that it didn't look like every piece of luggage out there that's black. But I also um, wanted it to be a different color so it was easier to find on the carousel. So I was really excited to see tiny little sparkles in this. And I don't know if that's just the way it's formed or if there's actually sparkles in it, but it's just fun because who doesn't like sparkles? So on the inside of this piece of luggage, it's got a bit more design than I'm used to. I'm pretty much used to one big open compartment with a piece in the middle. Okay, so as you can see, it has the two sides. I think they call that opening like a butterfly or something such as that. But on this side, I was used to having like a piece that would snap over. And this one kind of is like that. It zips over, so. So you have, you know, pretty good size. <laughs> Sorry about my filming. Uh, apparently, I have lost the ability. And then you have these two compartments on the top that you can put you know in here they said you could put a bathing suit because it is a plastic the only thing is like if I were to actually put something wet in that I would want to be able to take it out and wash it and you can't so you would have to you know wash it out with a washcloth and then uh, dry it out real well as well and then also in this compartment there were two bags that came with this one is for your um basically clean clothes and the other one is for your dirty clothes so that is on that side on this side I was just used to having the suspenders to hold in and that I always put clothes over on this side and over on this side I put shoes makeup and the little you know underwear divider bags I have not figured out how to open this thing so the only way I have determine is to push down on this little tab. I don't think that is correct, but it works. So you have this little compressor piece that is supposed to squish your clothes down, um, which is, like I said, not the side I usually put clothes on, but I will try to um, learn a new trick, but it ha does have a zip zipper section over here. Usually I always take a plastic knife, a corkscrew, a shower cap, and more zip ties just in case the locks break um, in every suitcase just so that I, well, in the corkscrew, obviously only in check-ons, but that is something every time we end up on vacation, those are things we can't find or are unavailable. So in the last several years, I've just kept them in my luggage. And then on this side, it also has a zip compartment too which is very thin, so I'm not really sure what you'd put in there, but this does come out. So you can, if you don't wanna use this, you can do away with it. So anyway, that is what I'll be packing in between this and that. The only other thing I was gonna show you were these clothes on the rack. Uh, the things on the right are things that need alteration. So these are three pieces I was thinking of taking, but I might not. Um, this little dress I thought might be cute just for the concert that we're going to tomorrow night or just to travel in. And then these two, this is just a thin linen little cover-up from H&M. And this is just a thin little cover-up also that's much longer. And it is from Amazon. So neither of those were very expensive. So it doesn't matter if you get them ruined on the beach or not. So other than that, my husband thinks he's going to try to just manage two swimsuits, two pairs of shorts, you know, five or six shirts, and be good to go. I don't know that that will work for me, but 
it really doesn't matter. We are going to North Captiva Island. There are no cars. There's not that many people. It's probably not peak season. We've been there before. There's not a scene. It's not a trip. If you've read my blogs or watched my videos before, you know that I feel like some vacations are CNBC and be seen vacations. You want to be looking good all the time. And other vacations are more of just there is no scene, so you just want to be casual, comfortable, whatever. This is definitely casual, comfortable. I mean, we'll live in swimsuits the whole time, so that's uh, the main thing. Eating out, I think there are four restaurants on the island. I could be wrong about that. Four or five, and they're not fancy. I think last time we were there, one of our reservations was for the fanciest, and it... Um, everyone had on shorts so I don't know um hopefully we it's been we haven't been since 2019 so hopefully it's the same so that I am not out of clothes there are no grocery stores or clothing stores or anything like that on the island so you either have it or you don't have it there are like there's one little provision store it had some swimsuits and t-shirts so if our luggage didn't make it, we would still be able to get toothbrush, toothpaste, that sort of thing. But other than that, oh, one more thing. Okay. So this is the larger makeup bag that I showed you all ago, but I had pulled out some shoes to take and my husband said, I don't need three pairs of shoes. Um, so these were just shoes like sandals. They, it's fine to get sand in because there's nothing for the sand to get stuck in. They're just from Land's Inn and they're old. Um, so I might take those. These are from L.L. Bean and they are just a tennis shoe that again if you get them wet the water goes in and out and it keeps you know sand out of your feet so you could wear these out in the water if you wanted uh, the inside comes out so it's real easy to dry and then I had some old just you know water shoes so I will probably take a pair of those and then just a pair of regular tennis shoes. We are going into Dallas uh, tomorrow to see Michael Buble in concert. So I need like something for that as well. And then we'll just leave those clothes in the car and... And so we won't have to take whatever it is we wear. So. I am going to put you on a time lapse and try to pack a little bit. Now, if you're a girl, you probably understand, or maybe I'm the only girl who does this. I can't pack my makeup and the things I need to get ready because I use them every morning. So I won't be able to pack that part until tomorrow morning after I get dressed, but I do start I do go ahead and lay everything out just so that I don't forget mascara or whatever it may be. So, anyway, if I can get the Archie to let me pack, I will. Maybe this, <laughs> I guess this is his plan. If he prevents me from packing, then we can't go on a vacation and we can't leave him back home. Right? Is that the theory? Yes, I do. It's teary cloth on the outside and it dries out just inside out real easy.
So when you're getting ready to pack, you always find things that you want to take with you that are dirty. So I'm going to have to wash some jeans real fast. And then I probably won't even take them. So in addition to packing for me, I have to pack for Archie too. So we're going to go pack his food real fast. be easy for the folks at the little place where he goes just to give him his meal for the morning or night so I'm gonna work on that water in the bottom and then you can push a little button here and water goes down into the bowl and it's real easy for Archie to drink so I'll link this below but if you don't have one of these you're definitely gonna want one because you don't have to pull over you don't have water rolling around the car or whatever it's just all in one and easy for him to use so I just checked the weather for the island we are going to and it's supposed to storm every day we're there, except one. Not sure I'm going to need swimsuits. I just need a poncho. or a spill or I like to put dirty shoes in them if my shoes get dirty while I'm on vacation or I do put my um, face cloth that I showed you earlier I always put one of uh, it's always wet when I come home because I would have washed my face with it that morning so I always put it in a plastic bag in my luggage and then I also again if you've watched some of my videos before you know that I like to carry those straps that you can put on the outside of your luggage so that if a zipper breaks or if you have it really, really packed tightly that you can secure it because we have been on the tarmac before and seen people's clothes all just laid out and one time my nephew's bag uh, broke, his, well his zipper bag broke. So because I had a strap, I gave him a strap and he was good to go. So this is the kind of thing I'm talking about and as you can see, I have definitely used it before. Is clean out my purse 
get rid of anything that could get confiscated at the airport and to lighten my load for things that I don't need for travel. So anything I use for work or locally, I'm not gonna need a library card while I'm on vacation, so I might as well take it out. So we got back from vacation last night and I wanted to show you what worked and what didn't with what I had packed. So I've already taken out my makeup because I needed that to get ready for bed uh, last night and this morning. So skincare makeup, all the same. Uh, I did run off and leave a few things. Of course, I'll kind of start a dirty pile while we talk, but I always use my cloth. It comes in very handy. You don't have to worry about messing up towels or washcloths at somebody else's house or hotel. So it's just an easy one and it dries so quickly that it's easy to pack. I did forget to take a um, shower cap and so I had to acquire one along the way. If you know, you know, and sadly, I did need these. Um, so these are the bags that I had already unpacked, plus my makeup um, little carrier, and I needed everything in there. Kills very, very good lotion. been reading this book and I did not open it because there were other things to be done. I always like to take a, this is a, that Long Champ brand and it makes for a bigger purse if you need it. If you're bringing you know, treats home or whatever. But I did not end up needing it but I still like to have it just in case I do. So those things were pretty much the given that I had to have. On this other side, I will go ahead and put in my dirty laundry pile, but of course needed my gown, needed my underpants, always take a little ball cap just because you don't always want to do your hair or sometimes it's windy. I did not need any extra socks. Strangely, I never put on a swimsuit, so that was kind of useless. We did walk in the uh, water. We did not go to the swimming pool, so but there would have been no way to know that because last time we did both of those two things. Uh, last time we went to um, a little sand bar, went to far offshore and we went during low tide and that's where we found lots of sand dollars so that we never did see it this time so I don't know if it's eroded away or we just weren't there at the right point. Definitely wore all my shorts. This is my little um, q-tips, cotton balls, band-aid, little bag that I showed you that always goes with me. I did lose a button off a pair of shorts, so I did actually have to use my mending kit. And I like to collect, whoops, that's my husband's um, sticker, but I like to collect Santas at different locations. I don't We went out one day to Cabbage Key for lunch and found this cute little mermaid ornament. 
well, it does not want to focus, but Santa is a pirate, let's just say. So, I wore all the tops I took more than once. Even though it said it was going to rain every day while we were in Florida, it only rained one evening, so I didn't even need my umbrella. Those were all shorts, shirts. I, I had taken like a pair of sports shorts that could also work as a cover-up. I have no idea. It looks like a bird. Go by and use a bathroom on me. I don't know. I did take two cover-ups that I never wore and I never used my tripod. So for regular luggage for the carry-on. It worked well. They have something in the bottom and then that gave me plenty of room in the top. And um, this particular brand of luggage, Bays, it worked out fine. Uh, you can barely even see a scratch on the outer part and the wheels held up well. I mean, it was just a win, especially when you consider the price point. I think the bag was uh, 88, don't remember this, but very good deal.